In an attempt to clean up your room, you have purchased a new floating shelf to put some of your 15 books you have stacked in the corner. These books are all by different authors. The new bookshelf is large enough to hold 12 books. Number one, how many ways can you select and arrange 12 of the 15 books on the shelf? The books are allowed to be in any order. So because the books are allowed to be in any order, the order matters, and therefore we will use a permutation to answer this question. For a permutation, no item is used more than once, and the order of the arrangement does matter. So because there are a total of 15 books, and you are selecting and arranging 12 of them at a time, the number of ways you can select and arrange 12 of 15 books on the shelf when the order matters is 15 permute 12. 15 permute 12 is equal to 15 factorial divided by 15 minus 12 factorial, which is equal to 15 factorial divided by 3 factorial. Let's go ahead and simplify this by hand. We will expand 15 factorial until we reach 3 factorial. 15 factorial is equal to 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. All divided by 3 factorial. 3 factorial divided by itself simplifies to 1. And now we'll go to the calculator. Let's check this two ways. Let's first enter 15 permute 12 by clicking functions, the permutation function main 15 comma 12, enter. And let's also check we get the same result for the product. And notice we do get the same result, but also notice how the result is in scientific notation. Because we're multiplying by 10 to the power of 11, to convert to decimal notation, we need to move the decimal point 11 places to the right. Notice after moving the decimal eight places to the right, we're on the right side of the eight, we need to move three more places to the right, and therefore we need to add three zeros. The number in decimal notation is 217-945-728-000. Which means there are 217,945,000,000 728,000 ways to select and arrange 12 of the 15 books on the shelf when the order matters. Number two, how many ways can you select and arrange 12 of the 15 books on the shelf if you insist they be arranged alphabetically by author? To answer this question, we'll actually use a combination where for a combination, no item is used more than once and the order of the items does not matter. Now you might be thinking, well the order does matter, the books have to be in alphabetical order, which is true, but if we form groups of 12 books where the order doesn't matter, for each of those groups, we can arrange the books in alphabetical order, which gives one successful arrangement of the 12 books. So again, every group of 12 will only result in one successful outcome, meaning one arrangement in which the books can be put in alphabetical order, which indicates the number of ways you can select and arrange 12 of the 15 books on the shelf, if they must be in alphabetical order, is 15, choose 12. And 15, choose 12 is equal to 15 factorial divided by the product of 15 minus 12 factorial and 12 factorial. So now we'll expand 15 factorial until we reach 12 factorial. 15 factorial is equal to 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 factorial, all divided by 15 minus 12 is 3, so we have 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 times 1 times 12 factorial in the denominator. And now simplifying, 12 factorial divided by itself simplifies to 1. 14 and 2 share a common factor of 2, it's 1, 2, and 2, and 7, 2s, and 14. 3 and 15 share a common factor of 3, there's 1, 3, and 3, and 5, 3s, and 15. Notice now we have 5 times 7 times 13, which is equal to 455. There are 455 ways to select and arrange 12 of the 15 books on the shelf if the books must be arranged alphabetically by author. And let's go ahead and verify this on the calculator. So let's first enter 5 times 7 times 13. And let's make sure we get the same result for 15 choose 12. which we do. 
I hope you found this helpful.